The harp is a fascinating instrument with a long, long history, and it also has a wide range of applications in today's music. When people think of the harp, they often picture harps being played by angels on Christmas cards. However, in fact, there are different types of harps, and the most common types of harps are the leather harp and the pedal harp behind me. The harp consists of a sound box as well as many strings. The strings are attached to the top of the sound box and pass over a bridge at the bottom before extending to the tuning pipes on the neck of the harp. To change their pitch, strings are tensioned or released through the use of pedals or levers. To play the harp, lean the harp on your right shoulder and ensure the weight of the harp is resting on both knees. You produce a sound through plucking, like this, which is the most basic playing technique on the harp. You place your finger on the string, pull it slightly inwards, and grip it. Just like this. One interesting fact, our little pinky here is never used to play the harp. It's deemed too short and too weak to pluck the strings. So there are 47 strings on a standard pedal harp. So how do we identify all the notes? Luckily, the colored strings are here to help us do the jump. The red string here is the note C, and the F string here is the note F. So two strings down from F will be D. Look, there are seven pedals on the harp, and by changing the pitches of the strings, they allow the harp to play chromatic notes. Each pedal corresponds to a note, and the notes are D, C, B. And on the right is E, F, G, and A. 